My name is Levi, and right now I will explain to you all the ingredients needed for this science experiment. First, you will need safety gear. Safety goggles and gloves are recommended. Then you will need sugar. We have three types of sugar because we are doing three types of experiments. Then you will need a glass bottle. This is to contain the experiment. Also, you will need sulfuric acid, a mixing stick, and baking soda. The baking soda is to neutralize the acid just in case something goes wrong. As you can see, I am scooping the sugar into my glass container. Make sure that it is a glass container or plastic, not metal. Metal will dissolve. In the background or to the side, you can see I have a turkey baster. Don't worry about it. It is completely useless. Do not feel like you have to buy one. Also, make sure your mixing spoon is uh, plastic or else it will be dissolved if it's metal. You may be wondering what is happening when you mix sugar and sulfuric acid, so I will tell you. The reaction is highly endothermic, so it is creating a lot of heat. And the sugar is turning into water, so the water is turning into steam. Also, the sugar is turning into pure carbon, which is black. I will also show you the texture of the sugar once I am done with it. This carbon snake, or whatever you call it, was very brittle and not very bendable. This time I am mixing icing sugar and sulfuric acid. I would just like you to know that this time the carbon snake, or whatever you call it, was a lot more crumbly.
time I will be using sugar cubes and sulfuric acid. This carbon blob, or whatever you want to call it, was very brittle, just like the first sugar. Thank you all for watching, and if this video hits a whopping 10 likes, I will release the second video on how to make sulfuric acid from boiling down a battery acid. Bye-bye.